Wrath of the Machine has hit destiny, and you'll be looking to finally get to the bottom of the SIVA crisis. However, much like every raid, you gotta get inside first. Let's figure out how to open the door and deal with Vosik, the Arc Priest. Group composition for this encounter is incredibly flexible, with no specific classes being preferred. Defender Titans for Weapons of Light and Night Stalker Hunters for Shadow Shots are always welcome thanks to their damage boosting capabilities. Any primary weapon will work just fine for this encounter and for the entirety of the raid, but snipers are definitely good for this boss and most of the other bosses in the raid. You should start by splitting your team into three groups of two, two left, two middle, and two right. On those sides, left, middle, and right will be foundry spinners, which need to be charged. In the encounter area are white beams of light coming out of the ground in select locations. These white lights are charges of voltage. You need to stack your voltage to max, which is 4 stacks, by running over multiple beams and then head to a tower to dunk your voltage like you would do in Rift PvP. If your 15 second timer runs out with any amount of charges, you'll die instantly, but this area isn't a darkness zone so you can revive very quickly. The timer also resets when you pick up a new stack of voltage, but not after you are maxed. All of the spinners are linked together, meaning if you charge one tower, you charge all of them. You need to dunk 5 max voltage charges into the towers in order to start the damage phase. You can assign specific people to go around and gather charge, or you can decide to let everyone do a little bit of everything. My group assigned two voltage runners so that we wouldn't accidentally take each other's voltage. While all of this is happening, adds will be spawning from basically anywhere, but not with too much frequency. The two main things to watch out for are the boss and voltage eaters. Voltage eaters will spawn every so often from the doorways underneath the main boss platform. These are giant shanks reminiscent of the fallen saber in its void form. Do not be intimidated though as their health is pretty low and are easily killed. However, they have no issue with stealing lots and lots of charged voltage from your towers, so they do need to remain a priority. The boss, Vosik, will also be shooting you and teleporting around the map. Be aware that the radius of his AoE melee attack if you get near him is very large, so it's generally not worth trying to go after voltage that he may be near. Once you've charged the spinners 5 times, all spinners will start producing SIVA charges, a lot of them. You need to throw these at Vosik to bring down a shield. You should continue to throw the SIVA charges anyway after the shield has gone down because they deal 100,000 damage per ball. They have an arc to them, so the farther away you are, the higher you should aim it. When you run out, just unload on the boss with whatever you have. Eventually, Vosik will regain his shield and this phase will start over again. There is nothing different about the next voltage phase, it repeats exactly the same way. When you bring Vosik down to a low enough health, he will retreat and you'll be able to go inside. Ideally, this will only take two damage cycles to do. I don't know if an enrage timer exists for this encounter, but I have my doubts since it's a door opening encounter. A chest will await you at the top. You'll then make your way through a platforming section as you move to the first boss fight against Vosik. There are many chests scattered throughout Wrath of the Machine, in which I'll have a video for those locations in addition to SIVA clusters very soon. The Vosik fight is a pretty straightforward fight, as we'll go over. Group composition is once again very open. Stormcaller or Voidwalker Warlocks are good here as adds can sometimes overwhelm if you have something go wrong. Otherwise, Defenders and Night Stalkers are always good for their damage boosts. Choose whichever primary weapon works for you along with a sniper for boss damage. Vosik will start in the middle of the arena on a stage, with the encounters split into three lanes, left, middle, and right. You should divide your group into three groups of two for the corresponding lanes. There are three mechanics in this fight, the SIVA charges, the monitors, and the clean rooms. When the fight begins, three SIVA charges will fall from the ceiling, one in each lane. They'll either fall closer or farther from the boss in the lane itself. You need to throw these SIVA charges at the boss in order to weaken his shield. My group threw these bombs at the same time, and right now I believe that you do need to throw all three bombs at around the same time in order to bring his shield down considerably. What appears to happen now is that the first bomb does very little damage, but the next two bombs deal very high damage if they hit him right after the first one was thrown. However, it's good practice to do this anyway. What my team did was grabbed the bombs, ran to the middle, and then threw them at the boss at the same time. 
doing this works quite well. However, if you plan on doing it this way, you need to watch for a wave of fallen that will spawn from the ceiling and drop down directly in front of where you want to throw the bombs, almost like they did it on purpose. If you throw the bombs before those ads fall down, you run the risk of hitting the ads with the bombs and not the boss. What we ended up doing was using the fallen spawn as our countdown timer. When they fell to the ground, that's when we would prepare to throw the bombs. Feel free to choose your own bomb throwing spots if you'd like. I didn't like getting up close to the boss platform as it left you very vulnerable to attack. Keep in mind that the bomb throws need to be highly accurate as well. The boss does strafe back and forth every so often, and a missed bomb means you need to go through another cycle of bombs before you can damage him. Within 20 to 25 seconds of the SIVA charges dropping to the ground, a monitor behind the boss will light up with a SIVA symbol on it, and there will also be a sound prompt. This monitor needs to be shot and destroyed immediately. Anyone who is not throwing a bomb should be watching for monitors, and anyone who is throwing a bomb should be ready to help assist the monitor watchers. Not destroying the monitor in time will trigger the SIVA density critical phase immediately. I'll explain that in a minute. You only have a few seconds to destroy the monitor, that's why it's so important. SIVA charges will spawn every 30 to 45 seconds or so, and in the same way, they'll drop down from the ceiling, one in each lane. During the downtime, you'll be killing lots and lots of ads coming from the three lanes. Every so often, you'll have a major SIVA captain show up as well. They don't do anything special, they're just really annoying to fight. In order to bring down the boss shield, you need to damage his shield enough with the SIVA charges. This can be done in as little as three bomb waves, three bombs hitting each time. As soon as the shield is brought down, you can begin blasting the boss with damage, weapons of light, shadow shots, whatever you want to use. This damage phase only lasts 20 seconds, so use everything that you have. Towards the end of the damage phase, a couple of SIVA charges will fall from the sky. You should use these to dump a ton of damage into the boss while he is still vulnerable. After he regains his shield, the SIVA density critical phase starts. Vosik will essentially charge up a SIVA overload to unleash on your team. There are two doorways per side of the arena, four in total. At least one of these will light up when the density event triggers. You'll need to rush into this little room and then lock the door by blowing up the lock on the right side, assuming you're facing the boss room. You'll have about 10 to 12 seconds before he unleashes his attack, so everyone needs to rush into the room and blow the lock before this happens. After the explosion, the room is no longer usable. Note that multiple rooms can be used at the same time, but you'll end up burning two rooms instead of just one. If you miss destroying a monitor, the density event will trigger immediately. It does not differ in any way, but is generally more chaotic because everyone will be more spread out. After a density phase ends, you'll repeat this process until the boss dies. Keep in mind that the amount of rooms you have acts as an enrage. If you run out of rooms, then you can't block the explosion anymore. But with up to 5 damage phases available, you should be able to get him down with at least a door to spare. After the second density wave, instead of dregs and vandals spawning, it'll be shanks, both exploding and non-exploding. They're actually much easier to take out, but all it takes is a couple of seconds of not paying attention, and an exploder shank can kill you. Shanks also spawn from the ceiling in the same way that the fallen do in the middle, so be aware of that. That is the Vosik fight. After some more platforming, you'll find yourself atop the wall itself. Click on the annotation to check out the next guide when it becomes available. If you enjoyed this video, a positive rating would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on top of the wall.